Hello, it's Teacher Carrie here, and I'm back with another Minicam tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to use your hotkeys in Minicam. No, this video has not been sponsored by Minicam, so hashtag not sponsored, and let's get started. First, let's talk about what hotkeys are and how we can use them. So to do that, let's pop over to our Minicam tutorial screen for today. Our video presets are right down below me here in these little boxes, and off to the right hand side I have my main Minicam menu. Now using my hotkeys allows me to switch between these presets without actually clicking on them in Minicam. This is very helpful if you are planning to use multiple presets while you are teaching. I teach for VIP Kid. I'm on my sixth contract with them and I've taught around 4,600 classes now. So I often will switch between my presets for a welcome preset or a welcome slide, you might call it, um, into my main classroom view, which looks sort of like this. And then I might even switch again to show a reward or maybe a website if I need to. So being able to switch quickly between my presets is really helpful. So let's find where our hotkeys are and how we can use them. Up at the top here, along our little widget menu, the very first option at the very top right hand corner is settings. You want to go ahead and click into that settings and for me I'm actually going to give you a larger view of that. Here is that settings key here and then it's going to bring us up a new menu. So let me switch to my screen where you can see our new menu down on the bottom, there is an option for hotkeys. Again, those hotkeys allow you to move between your presets quickly and easily. And here are my options. My first option is Alt, or the Alt button on my keyboard. And then it says plus one. It actually means Alt plus whatever number preset you want to change to. So if I wanted to change from this screen back to my general classroom screen, I would need to press Alt and the number six. That will transition between those two screens. But if I wanted to do a sharp cut instead of a transition, all I need to do is press Control. So Control does a sharp cut, so again we'll move from this hotkeys menu back to my main classroom, and all I did there is press Control and my hotkey. Now if I want to change those, I can. Um, I don't I'm not going to change them because I like the way they are now, but you could change your transition to any of these terms. Control, Alt, Win for Windows, Shift and their combinations are allowed for this shortcut it says. So you can change it to anything you want to and then these numbers just correspond to the numbers on your preset boxes. So when you're looking at your preset boxes in Minicam, it says in the little corner here what number your preset is. Also, I have just a little bit of fuzziness on my green screen. My fabric that lays over my green screen chair isn't completely flat, so occasionally I get a little fuzzies there. I'll just fix that. So you can see the numbers on your preset boxes in the right hand corner here. And usually when I'm setting up for my classes, I try to keep the same preset for the same type of idea. So my welcome slide is always my preset number one. My rewards is always my preset number two. And then I have a little chalkboard that I like to write messages to my students on. I always choose that as number three. And the reason for that is that then I don't have to remember <laughs> to look carefully at the corners of these boxes for which preset I want. When I'm ready to change to my Google slide rewards, I just press my control or alt and the number two. So let's look at my actual physical keyboard here. And I know there's a little glare from my ring light, so I'll just tip this up for you. And yes, I have animals, so there's probably some animal hair in here. <laughs> so again, to use those hotkeys, all I need to do is press the control button and then whatever number along the top row that corresponds to the preset I want. I don't actually want to use my 10 key over here aside from the fact that it's full of animal hair and very gross, um, it won't actually work with your hotkeys. You do want to use your top row of number keys along the top of your keyboard. So let's go back to my little tutorial screen here. And again, if I wanted to switch to my view of my keyboard, all I need to do is I could press control and the number four, and there I am on that screen again. So if we go to our hotkeys menu one more time, 
Let's do that on number three. Yes, it's a little funky right now. There we go. When I click into those hotkeys, the most important thing is that you want to select this global slider. That means that you can use this anywhere you are working in your computer. So if I have my VIP Kid Classroom open, I can still press those hotkeys. Or if I was on Zoom or Skype or some other teaching platform, selecting that global there allows me to change those uh, presets without actually clicking into Minicamp. So I could even have my Minicamp minimized if I wanted to and use my hotkeys that way. You can of course set everything to global and you have some more options here for previewing the preset or transitioning to the next or previous preset or cutting to the next or previous preset. But for me, the ones I use the most are just transition and cut between the two presets. It will move either way, but transition of course might give you some special effect as you are going into that next preset. So it's pretty simple and easy and it actually saves me a lot of time in class instead of hunting around for the preset that I want in my preset uh, boxes down below me. So I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, check out the links in the description for more information on Minicam and on VIP Kid. Have a great day. Bye.